Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. So today we're getting into um, customizing AutoCAD preferences and settings. And this is one of the one of the chapters uh, which we're going to do within the AutoCAD plugin. Uh, so if you don't have the exercise files and stuff like that, just go into the description and you can get the GitHub link. You can get the entire project and we can use it. All right. So this is focused on 2018 version of AutoCAD. So if you have AutoCAD 2018 or Civil 3 2018, this should work there just fine. Okay, so first thing what we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to see how to customize the AutoCAD uh, preferences. So that is what the focus is going to be. So um, some of the key points that we need to remember is um, so there is a lot of things that we can customize. Let me put it up here in the comment section. Um, Okay, even better. Let me make it look nice. Easy way to comment. Okay, so you can control preferences uh, within AutoCAD. So a lot of these preferences that you can control using code. Um, so for now, we're going to see three of these items. One is uh, the crosshair of your AutoCAD. So if I go to my AutoCAD, so this is my crosshair. So I'm going to extend this crosshair from one end to another end, just like good old days. So that's one thing which I'm going to do. And another one is access the preference. So um, so this is like changing a display. Uh, the scroll bars, you know, AutoCAD has got the scroll bars. So for now, it's disabled. I'm going to turn it on and then I'm going to show you how to turn it off using the code. And the next one is the um, uh, max sort. Uh, so this is one of the system variables. If you go to the AutoCAD system variables, you can see this value and we can change the value here. So first we're going to get the value and then we're going to see what's the value is and then we're going to change it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow some code from uh, some of my other chapters. And so it's just to print certain things into the screen. Uh, let me quickly do that. I think let me go into the hello world because the hello world has got this ready made code. Here we go. So let's get that. Go back to the other one and I'm going to initialize this one. So now I'm going to use this after we get this value. So I'm going to say this is my max sort and then plus and then I'm going to print this value. I think I have to make it a string because it's an integer. OK, so that's done. And uh, so we got some, uh, some squiggly lines here. So the first thing is this is an interop object. So a cat preference is an inter interop object. Anytime, guys, if you're looking at uh, so these sort of um, references, mostly you're looking at interop. So, so we need to add that references as well. So to find it, you have to go and search into your AutoCAD installation folder, go to the location where you installed your AutoCAD and then find autodesk.autocad.interop.dll and make sure that you always copy these DLL files into a sort of like a Dropbox or something where you keep it, keep them separate for each version of the AutoCAD. So um, just a little uh, fail safe method. Okay, I'm just going to add it, add reference and then browse and I've already copied it to the my reference folder. So I'm just going to use it. Click OK and it's added. So now we need to add the using. So I'm going to say using AutoCAD dot interop and once it's added, it's all sorted. So now the application. So we're going to use this one. So that's been sorted as well. Again on this one. And then on this one. OK, so so looks like uh, since we have got this one few times, that's why so I'm just going to uh, move the comment on top so you guys get an understanding of what it is for. Remove this. And then uh, remove the second one. We don't need it. We can use the one which is already there. OK, perfect. <coughs> so uh, this is what we're going to do, guys. So now I'm just going to build this one. Yep, build successful. Make sure that you check here and now go to my AutoCAD and I'll also turn on my scroll bar to check this one. So it's going to be under. Forgot this one should be under 
system user preference scroll bar somewhere let me see if there is a command to bring it in so what was the here we have display scroll bars okay it should be under display tab then so display tab display scroll bars where is that display scroll bars and drawings here we go so we got some scroll bars here and then here okay so that's one and let's go and run it says system variable system I forgot this command as well so what is this command for system variables express tools and um, system variables says so sys vdlg okay so so this one is max uh, sort okay so now the value current value here is a uh, thousand so we're going to change that value okay so what's a file name so okay, that's fine now let's get to what let's load the plugin so net load choose a plugin always load and we're going to say set preference scroll bar is gone the crosshair we got it extended till the edges and then the max sort so which is sys vd and max sort value is set to 100 Woo -hoo. okay here we go so that's all working guys so now um, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna get a bit more stuff in there so there is a whole bunch of preferences as I said this is all the preferences there so you can do a lot more with this one and my suggestion is uh, this is one of the areas people uh, tend to forget it's there and then um, uh, so it's always create a section in your AutoCAD and then uh, one would be like sort of like a generic method where you pass the uh, system variable to get it and then to set it. So just create this in and put it into a sort of like a function and then uh, so you don't have to go and look for it. So we'll, I'll show you some of the other things as well, some of the cool tricks that we could do into the project to make it a bit more efficient. All right, thanks guys. Subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Thank you so much.